Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to take a brief look at animation. So, I want to make sure to explain what I talk about when we say animation in SketchUp. We're not talking about uh, things moving around like traditional animation. What we can create with SketchUp, with just raw basic SketchUp, is a camera animation. So we can see what happens when we take a camera from one location and move it to the next and to the next. So we can kind of create things like fly-throughs of models. Animation where other parts move and, and characters move around, that kind of stuff, can be done, but you have to use extensions to do it. So we're going to be mostly talking about um, taking the camera and moving it through the model. So, you'll see what I mean. We'll dive in right now and take a look at animation. Okay, so I created a very simple model. I just have a, a plane here on the ground with some, some shapes and sumele. The way that animations work is by moving the camera from one scene to the next. So, over here, I have opened the Scenes tab. Um, this is, of course, going to show up in the default tab bar if you're on Windows. Just expand out scenes. Most of the commands we need to use animations are also under View, Animation. And here you can see we have the basics, Add Scene, Update Scene, Delete Scene, Previous Scene, Next Scene. So those are all for moving through, but then there's also an option here to play and another for settings. So let's take a look. Let's make a couple scenes first, all right? So I'm going to say this one right here is good. I want to start looking at the model right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit plus. And that's going to create my first scene. I'm going to say the next scene I want to do is just flipping it around and maybe zooming out, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create scene three or scene two here. And then the last one, I want to end with like kind of a top down view, maybe something like that. But I'm going to zoom in a little bit bigger, get it so it fills up the screen, and that's going to be my scene three. All right, so now I have scene one. If I click to scene one, it's going to jump to there. Scene two is over here, and scene three is over here. When I talk about animation, that what, what I just did clicking through the scenes is what I want to have happen. So how do we make that just play? Well, let's go back up to view to the animation, and we're going to come down here. Before I hit, hit play, I'm going to actually click on settings. So settings will actually bring up your model info. This is the same window we see if we go up to window and click model info and it's automatically set to the Animation tab. Now, there's only three settings for an animation. It is very, very basic. One is to enable scene transitions. So, this actually works in animations, but also works in how you use SketchUp. So, if I turn off Enable Scene Transitions, and I click between my scenes, see how it just jumps from one scene to the next? It doesn't move the camera. That is a scene transition. So this value right here, this scene transitions, enable transitions, and then the length of that transition time is not only used when I create an animation, but it also is used when I just move between scenes right here in SketchUp. So if I want a longer transition, I can actually bump this time up. Let's double it to four and go from scene one to two and see what happens. See, that's kind of nice. That gets you a little bit more of a feel for what this model is all about. It makes it a little more grand when you move slow, you know? That looks good. So I'm going to say, yeah, I want this to be four seconds of, of, of transition time. And then I have this option for scene delay. When I click between scenes, um, it moves from one scene to the next on click. So as soon as I click scene two, it's going to start to go to scene two. And that's going to get to scene two and stop. It's going to stay there in scene two until I use my commands to change my view or I click on the next scene. In an animation, it's going to constantly be going from one scene to the next. And it will only pause between scenes depending on the delay I have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want a two second delay. So what that means is it's going to go from scene one, it's going to take four seconds to get to scene two, then it's going to stop on scene two for two seconds, and then go on to scene three for two, for four seconds. And it's going to keep doing it. It's going to cycle through. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close Model Info. I'm going to go to View, Animation, and we're going to actually play. And here we go. It's going to animate from scene one to scene two. It's going to stop here for two seconds. 
then it's going to spend four seconds going to scene three, stop here for two seconds, then four seconds going back to scene one. And it's going to loop. It's going to keep doing this until I tell it to stop. So I can tell it to stop. Um, the easiest thing is I usually just come to the tab bar and right click and hit play animation again, which should stop the animation. Now, let's say something changes in here where um, I actually just want to go back and forth from scene two. I don't want to stop on scene three anymore. One of the things I can do is come to my scenes tab bar and I can hit the little plus here to show the details. I can select a scene and I can choose whether or not it is in the animation. If I turn this checkbox off, see how it gets those little parentheses around there? That means that scene is excluded from the animation. So I'm going to come back to scene one now. And once I'm in scene one, I'm going to hit play animation and you'll see it will just now go back and forth from scene one to scene two. So we'll go ahead and hit play animation. And there's scene one to scene two, two second pause, and then back to scene one because it's skipping scene three. So pretty simple to set up. Once it gets back to scene one here, I'm just going to click, right click and say hit play again. That'll stop it from animating. Um, pretty simple animation. Uh, you can obviously do a lot more than I did here. It could set in multiple cameras, have it walk through. If I want to create it so it's just jumping back and forth and I don't have that pause, I can, of course, go to view, animation, settings, and I could set this down to zero. And then if I go ahead and play it then, it's going to jump back and forth between the two and it's not going to stop for two seconds. So as soon as it gets to scene two, it's going to turn around and go back the other way. So you can see with something like this is where I might have a bunch of scenes swerving through and going through a model or something like that. And they'll just play it in a continuous path rather than pausing at each spot. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, like I said, we were, this is just the intro to animation. There's so much more to get in there. There's some rules of thumb, how to do some things. Um, there's some, some good practices, some even better practices. Uh, we can't get into all of it here, but I did want to give you just, just a taste of what you could do with animation. The thing to remember with it is that you're animating from one camera location to the next and that the settings, the transition time between cameras and the pause time is global. It is for all scenes. So it doesn't, you can't stop on one, but not on the next. It is global. You can turn scenes off, but then they just get completely skipped. Hopefully you like that. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use animation? Have you played with it? Does this video maybe give you enough courage to give it a try? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.